Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at our feature called dynamic steering. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at some of the functionality and settings that we can make in relation to our dynamic steering. Well firstly, what is dynamic steering? Essentially it is a quick steering function that we have on our tractor. We have up to seven different settings for it and three different modes. So where do we make the settings? Well, we have a dedicated steering menu on the right hand column of our machine and you'd see if you have dynamic steering spec to your machine would have an additional steering sub menu. In here we can choose between our seven different types and three different modes. So firstly we can see we have our constant modes up the top, we have our speed modes in the middle and our wheel angle modes down the bottom. Now what do these mean? Well constant is very very simple. Essentially no matter what speed we are going or what steering wheel angle we have, the multiplication or how faster it is will be the same. These will then disengage at a set speed. Speed mode is the slower we are going, the faster the steering will react. And the faster we are going up until the point at which it disengages, the steering then slows down to make it a little bit more maneuverable around tight yards, for example. The last and my most favorable mode is my wheel angle mode. In this, as we get closer to full lock left or full lock right, we then see the steering starting to speed up as we get closer to the extremes. So personally, my favorite mode is wheel angle mode times 1.5. The reason being for this is the fact that it also then stays engaged for the highest speed value. So 18 kilometers an hour, roughly speaking. After this point, it will automatically de-engage for road mode or for road travel, I should say. Outside of that, how do we turn it on? Well, we have a dedicated switch on the right-hand control panel. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to make sure that our steering valve is unlocked, the very same as what we would do for auto steer. Once we have our steering valve unlocked, we then tap our spring return dynamic steering switch once. We would see a message appear on the screen telling us that your dynamic steering has started. That will then continue up until the point that you either hit the switch again to turn it off or you cross over the set speed value for disengaging. Bearing in mind for each one of the different settings that we have, there is a different speed value that it disengages at. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And as always, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.